Mm. I've been in this job for 10 years. And in all these years, I've witnessed quite a lot of near misses. And unfortunately, I've also been there for those who weren't lucky enough to make it. Working in this field is very hard and it's very stressful. So irresponsible behavior by passengers makes the days even harder. I mean, as a train driver, all I wish to do is to travel safely and to make it back home safely. And that is what I wish for my passengers too. It's for them to make it to their destination safely. So it's very sad when witnessing people do things that are very irresponsible and very dangerous. I just, I can't understand why people would want to do this, especially when the consequences could be so fatal. As train drivers, we are the ones that have to live with the reality of these tragic events. You know, it never leaves you. The sight of people coming so close the sight of people suffering from injuries. I strongly urge everyone that uses the train as a means of transport to please be safe on the train. People need to know how to practice safety on trains. Commuters need to know that they should never climb on top of a moving train. All train doors should be closed when the train is moving. And train surfing, otherwise known as para para, kills. And always expect a train at a level crossing. I've seen and learned a lot during my years as a train operator. But the most important lesson that I have learned is that commuters should always expect a train. Whenever you see a railroad or a train track, immediately think of a train. Yeah, that's my lesson. Always expect a train.